The quintessential pony car is all new for 2024, with prices starting at $30,920. There are coupe and convertible body styles with either a turbocharged four-cylinder engine and an automatic transmission, or a 5-liter V8 with a choice of manual or automatic transmission. In the EcoBoost and GT models, you'll find supportive bucket front seats with six manual adjustments for the driver and four for the passenger. Big, bolstered, racy Recaro front seats are an option. Those are just two ends of a spectrum of seat options that can add heating, ventilation, power adjustments, and three-position memory. A tilting and telescoping flat bottom steering wheel comes standard to make it easier to get in and out. Oh, and to give long-legged drivers just a bit more room. There's really plenty of passenger space up front though. As for the rear seat, well, that's not why you buy a Mustang. Let's just say if you put an adult back there for too long, you might be putting that relationship in jeopardy, but it's fine for kids and backpacks or maybe your poodle. With every major model update comes new technology. The new Mustang gets a configurable 12.4 inch digital instrument display and a 13.2 inch infotainment touchscreen running the latest Ford Sync 4 software. The infotainment screen looks great. The graphics and menus are crisp and clear and over the air updates are included. In true sports car style, every Mustang comes with integrated track apps that can measure G-forces, acceleration, and lap times. Wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto come standard, as do two USB ports, a six-speaker stereo, and a Wi-Fi hotspot. Wireless phone charging, dual-zone climate control, and a nine or 12-speaker audio system are offered as options or fitted as standard to higher trims like the GT and Dark Horse. You get a small handful of dedicated switches and a volume knob, but most of your interactions will be done through the touchscreen, including adjusting the climate controls. Ford claims that the Mustang's cabin is fighter jet inspired, and while we might call that a stretch, it does feel fresh and modern. Base trims come with cloth seat upholstery, a vinyl wrapped steering wheel, and a leather wrapped shift knob. Start ticking option boxes or move up the trim ladder to get cloth seats with faux suede inserts, leatherette seats, or leather seats. A leather wrapped steering wheel comes on higher trims while the high performance dark horse model gets an attention grabbing anodized blue titanium shift knob. Thankfully, Ford spices up the Mustang's interior atmosphere with more than the typical two or three basic colors. It's fine to go with classic black and gray, but if you like a little extra pizzazz, there's also a classy brown, a sporty red, and a unique navy blue. Honestly, when you start looking at all the interior options along with the paint colors, your head might spin with so many possibilities. That is a rarity and a bit of a luxury these days. Addressing the Mustang's cargo space is kind of the same deal as its back seat. Who cares, right? But you might be surprised at how flexible it is. Trunk volume isn't what you'd call cavernous, but the 13.5 cubic feet in the coupe is completely adequate for routine shopping or a long weekend getaway. Luggage space in the convertible is slightly less at 11.4 cubic feet. Since you're unlikely to have backseat passengers anyway, you can also take advantage of the 50-50 split folding rear seat backs for additional space. A sensible family car, it is not, but modern muscle like the 2024 Ford Mustang can still be practical.